The data is a ton of housing data out today, including a big surge in mortgage demand. Diana Olick joins us to discuss. Hi, Di. Where's the demand hey, coming from? Okay, so the demand is coming from both people who want to refi and people who want to buy a house. We saw mortgage applications last week jump 28% week to week. They're still way down year over year, but what this says is that after the holidays, people came back and they saw that mortgage rates were significantly lower and they decided those who could benefit from a refi jumped in and perhaps we're seeing a little bit more demand from potential home buyers. And we also got news from the National Association of Home Builders on builder sentiment and it went up four points and and everyone had expected it to go down. The builders obviously again reacting to that drop in mortgage rates over the last couple of months, seeing more buyer traffic, feeling better about potential current and even future sales, although it is still in negative territory. Where, so, and that, go, I'm sorry to interrupt. I, I thought you were finishing. Where do uh, mortgage rates on the 30 year conventional fixed stand right now as compared with the peak a few months ago? Okay, so we are now at 6.04% according to Mortgage News Daily, which runs the daily numbers. Now, we were at a high at the end of October at 7.37%. Today's is the lowest since September, but we have come down significantly off that high. And what that means is you're seeing significant savings on the monthly payment. And we all know people don't buy a home on the price of the home, they buy it on the monthly payment. We are still, however, what, roughly double where we were a year, 15 months ago? Yeah, we were about 3.5% a year ago, and so you're still higher on the payment, and that's why we're still seeing that slowdown in sales. We're also seeing the slowdown because there's just not much out there to buy. Mm -hmm. Total inventory is higher, but new listings are way down, and the reason that total inventory is higher is because everything's sitting on the market longer, and the builders are just not ramping up enough. But, you know, look, we got the builder sentiment number as positive today, and you are seeing the ITB. It's down a little bit with the broader market. That's the home building ETF, but it's not down nearly as much as the broader market. So the builders are clearly getting a boost from that. Well, you know what? If you have uh, mortgage holders who are starting to surrender to what might be the rates for some time to come, maybe you're also going to have home sellers surrendering to a new normal, which is you don't get sky high prices anymore and buyers that have to pay more than they were hoping for. Right. I mean, sellers may see it that way, but they're also the trouble is if they're going to rent, great. But if they're going to buy another home, mm. they're still feeling like I'm probably trading 2.75 percent from during the pandemic for a six and a half percent or six percent rate. And they're not really wanting to do that. So it's going to have to be, you know, a real reason that they need to move or they might want to wait until prices come down even more. We're seeing prices down about two and a half to three percent since July, but they're still up year over year. So I think prices are going to have to fall a little bit more for potential sellers to say, OK, maybe I'm buying at a lower price as well to offset that higher rate. Got it. Diana, thank you.